Hi there, and welcome to this next video in this series. Um, sorry, it's a little late. I uh, had some technical issues with Maya over the um, half term. Um, oh, microphone's just falling. Um, so, in this lesson, we're going to start focusing on adding the hand and you start using the sculpt tool. Um, the sculpt tool will be used in a sort of moderate way, so we're not going to be excessively using it. Um, we'll use it as a way to enhance what we already have and to sort of breaking out of that sort of boxy sort of template that, that, that we that it naturally build when we, when we work these processes when we're modeling. So um, what we're going to do, so we are going to work on the hand and as you can see we have um, our, our sort of saved a little piece here and what we're going to do is just go into object mode so uh, sorry face mode and we're just going to double select this little bit of geometry and push F which will now mean that point is our center point, okay, for our hand. <coughs> so, um, what we're going to do is actually create a ten-sided piece, um, which is a little bit more than what we have here, um, and then link it up later on. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and face, and we're just going to select these four front faces, and we're going to push delete on that, okay which will leave us with this sort of object here and what we're going to do is just edit this slightly um, to give us um, the sort of shape that we're looking for so I'm going to go into edge mode okay so and we're going to push and select these let's just start pushing W okay and we're just going to pull these across and again we're just going to move this one up, okay, and I'm just going to pull this one out as well. And yeah, move just move these pieces here. Um, just create, start making that curve, and same with these bottom pieces. I'm going to try and line them up with the ones at the top, but not it doesn't have to be too accurate, and we just have to get a feel for that. And then we're just going to add in a couple more edge loops uh, just on the top <coughs> and the bottom. So we're going on meddling tools and we're going to go to um, our mesh tools and go to insert edge loop. And place one in the middle and one in the middle there. Okay. Just going to pull that up. And we're going to pull that off as well. And there we have the start of our palm. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, what we're going to do is then going to um, fill these together. So, we're just going to go to Edit Mesh <coughs> and go to Fill Hole. And with our modeling toolkit, so we're going to click the Share Modeling Toolkit. We're going to get our multi cut tool and just connect these top and bottom pieces together to make a nice continued loop. Okay, so <coughs> for this, you may want to use a hand reference. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to do this independently because with our brush, we'll be able to sculpt a lot of those shapes back in and um, yeah so at this point um, I'm gonna just select the whole of this I'm gonna push R bring up my scale tool I'm just gonna scale these out slightly just get a little bit more width um, <coughs> excuse me my chest is still really bad um, let's cut those in and now our faces will be ready to sort of move out and extrude so again I'm going to sort of guesstimate this your hand you know is your, the hand if you put it on your forearm is roughly two thirds the size so I know that we're sort of talking with the fingers we're going to be around about this height and length so probably around about here so I'm going to push control E and I'm just going to extrude um, what I want for my sort of palm should probably be around about here 
and then again we can sort the fingers out in a short while now as you can see um, it's a bit blocky it's a bit square that's fine um, we're just going to add in um, a couple of edge loops um, right after we've just selected this edge and we've scaled that out slightly and again with these here so you haven't selected all of them there so it's going to hold shift and double click and double select so I've got them all selected and then just pull that out <coughs> so um, where are we going to go next so we're going to insert some more edge loops so we're going to stick about three in there our thumb's going to come out of these two here okay and um, we may add another one in here a little later on um, but for now we're going to stick with this and we are just going to get to our face <coughs> and we're just going to pull this out and just twist that round slightly okay so it's like that and this is going to be the start of where we extrude our wrist from and I'm just going to select this face on the edge here and just tuck that back in slightly okay <coughs> and with these selected here we're now just going to start to extrude those out as so a game we're going to push control E and um, I'm just going to extrude that there now I'm just going to check my tool settings um, so that's okay okay yeah cool um, so providing you, you should come out fine like this and what we're going to do is again just extrude from this middle point okay so always so don't you don't have to always extrude from the middle point but I have noticed some people sort of make some errors uh, by not doing that um, for in some sessions so again um, yeah just be careful with that um, yeah our thumb obviously is looking rather wide here at this point but this is still can be still be classed as our palm and I'm just going to get the edge in the middle here and just going to bring that out slightly so you just bring that out okay and we can start to just take those back in okay so you can get that in there which is looking pretty cool okay <coughs> so we've now got a connection to bring our sort of thumb for out from furthermore and we've got the sort of main lines for our fingers almost in place and we're going to start to extrude those out shortly now um, what we're going to do is probably bring these up a little bit so again we're just going to double select this ring bring that up a little bit leave some space for our knuckles and then just start to ring those up slightly again with this piece here and we're just going to sort of set that shape there which is cool and then what we're going to do is just insert another edge loop I think around here just give it a bit more breathing like a bit of breathing space and then we're just going to select around there make sure it's all selected and push W and just bring that up slightly there we go okay I'm just going to take this piece back in a little bit <coughs> so we've got our thumb sort of now building out of our arm but our, our palm it's sort of bang with we'll kick that in or bring that out so <coughs> um, the important thing to remember about our hands is when they naturally stand up straight they curve okay so what we're going to do is just start to um, we're just going to quickly line up these fingers to give them a bit bit more of a squaredness to them give them a bit more of an equal equal footing okay 
and um, again, just getting that little bit of that relationship a little bit more accurate. And we're just going to double select uh, top and bottom and the sides. We have this ring selected, and what we're going to do is actually just shrink these down. As I said, your hand will curl if you stand up straight and hold your hands down at the side your fingers curl inwards they don't they're not exactly straight if you hold your palm up now put them exactly straight it takes you effort to hold them up so we're going to go to our tool settings from the tablet side and we're going to go down to um, soft selection here and select soft select and you can see um, the area of influence is quite all the way up so if we start moving that it will move all of that okay and we don't want that at this moment in time we only want a small bit so I'm going to go 0.2 um, that's probably a little bit too much so I'm going to go 0.4 no not enough sorry and a little bit more than that a little bit more 0.5 and probably let's go 0.7 okay cool so we're starting to get there now and just to be on the safe side let's try 6 yeah we'll try that and then with the pushing R we're going to go down with this middle piece here and we're just going to take it in slightly and lift it up okay <coughs> and you'll see we're starting to get that natural um, look at the end of the fingers and now it starts to look more squared okay so I'm just going to take that and just go down a little bit more again and bring that up there we go so um, what have we got then? So at this point now, we are ready to sort of extrude our hands, um, extrude the fingers. So I'm going to turn off soft select in the tool settings, and I'm going to go down to face. I'm going to select each of these faces, and um, I'm just going to take them back a little bit, okay? And just check that in relation to there. Yeah, I think that's cool. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to extrude them okay roughly around the same height if you bend over your fingers <coughs> you can almost touch the bottom of your palm um, and I think in measurement they're about the same size and length so we've got a rough idea of how big they need to be so we're going to go down to our modeling toolkit and we're going to go to extrude and this time we're going to pull them out to roughly the end of where those fingers will be probably around about here yeah okay and this time we're going to turn this onto off we don't want those faces together okay and we're just going to select the little face in there and just very subtly we're going to take those out and you'll see that they are no longer together okay <coughs> so once we've done that um, we're going to go to our global rotate and we are just going to tilt these over slightly. Uh, that end piece decided, decided to go either way. So we'll go to global, yeah, like I was originally going to do. And I'm just going to turn those over. Okay, just ever so slightly. Okay, so with that done, uh, we're just going to very quickly start to extrude the rest of our thumb. Um, again, just going to so sort of take that in, so it's a little bit more squared, and then take the whole thing up. Okay, because we want to keep it we want to keep it in size, side by side. And then we're going to extrude, and we're going to get yeah, faces that are kept on. Good, and we're just going to keep going round and taking those in let's get that height there and we can fix this up a little bit shortly so don't worry too much about that and we're just going to extrude again and rotate that end around okay and we're obviously going to increase the thickness of these parts now so we're just going to go edge just scale those up so they're looking a little bit too thin 
Okay. So and then we can bring this section up as well. Start to bring that out. Okay. <coughs> so, um, okay, right then. I'm still not quite sure if I'm happy with the thumb. Um, I think it actually we could have extruded out from the side and pulled up that way through there. Hmm. I'm debating whether to go back and do that now. Um, yeah, I think I think we should, which is a pretty sim it's a pretty simple fix. So let's just go to face, double select that ring, delete that, delete this object by double clicking, double select and delete, and I'm going to push this edge back in slightly, a bit more straight there. Select this edge, so bring it back down to about here. It's going to fill the hole on that face. <coughs> and I'm just going to select that together, and it's going to take that one vertex that's sticking up down. So go to vertex mode, push W, just bring it down slightly. And then with these three, we're going to extrude out. I'm just going to try and straighten them up a little bit. Actually, no, don't bother. That's just going to we'll just straighten them up this side. And we're going to extrude again. And what we're actually going to do is just rotate that around this way and then actually bring I'll go to edge mode and bring this piece back and bring that piece back and then bring that piece back and bring that piece back and then we're going to bring this piece forward. As you bring it further down around here. And yeah, we're going to just bring one extrude out of this piece. I think this piece here. So <coughs> I'm just going to take this one in. So apologies from me for not getting this spot on at the beginning. Um, and just gonna bring those in. There we go. I'm still debating if I will take it out of those two. Bring it out of these two. I think we'll bring it out of these two. Let's just try that again. I can't remember if this is what I did before. I think it might be. We go to face. Extrude out of that. Yeah, I think so. So we're going to go to extrude, pull that out. Oh, and go to the middle one, extrude that 
in slightly, bring that forward. should work so I'm just going to go back and move this edge forward and a little bit more curved again select these two faces scale them down slightly probably take them in again a little bit And extrude that again. It's a little bit fiddly there, but we get there in the end. There we go. Same sort of thing as before, just going to try and keep the, this part of the, the upper hand up. So just going to pull these two sections in as well. Not up, I should say, not in. Okay. So, <coughs> um, what we're going to do now is just very quickly <coughs> add um, some geometry to the fingers um, so we're going to take um, one of the insert edge loop tool um, the first thing we're just going to do is reposition um, some of the height of the hand with this, this line going across because your hand as you're, I'm sure you're all aware um, is not completely um, straight so again it bends so it sort of peaks up around this point and um, drops back as you go further down the hand so if we go down that to one let me just bring if we look at these two on the edge here these two vertices bring those in as well do the same on this edge we are trying to slip both on the side there. Oh, bit of an error. Let's go back. So again, if we just select these two, bring them down, and select these two, bring them down. And again, if we just go along the hand and do each of those. And then we do the same with just the ends of the fingers. Quality of a hand there, so just be careful about catching those things. And if we can start to just pull them down, so we're just going to push shift and select those in as well. Which you've got all four. Just bring and resize those, and then we can just bring these in. Go through quite that bottom. That's something that will probably happen quite a lot when you're working so close. Okay, so it makes it a little bit more natural. <coughs> and now we're just going to bring in um, some more uh, geometry. So we're going to go to insert edge loop, and we're going to do that around here. So we want one roughly. Um, each of these bends are within our joints. So again, go back up. A little bit higher forward with those. Then down a little bit again. Oh, wrong part. Okay. And then what we're going to do is just add some in between. Okay. And each time we do that, we're just going to push R and get the scale tool and um, make it bigger. Okay, make it that little bit fatter, um, which will just give it that little bit of naturalness that we want. Okay, and these don't have to be perfectly sized against each other. Okay.
and then again um, just gonna do for each of those sort of do, do each of these parts And when we preview this while pushing free with smooth, <coughs> you'll see um, how accurate they start to look. Okay. And if we push free, we'll see that they start to look a little bit smoother now. Okay, and we can start to see the start of that hand taking shape. <coughs> so, um, we're just going to do the same on the thumb very quickly. Okay, so we're just going to take the two faces and just going to rotate that around. So, if we go to tool settings. I think we can edit the pivot very quickly. So if we do that and turn it round, and then we can oh, um, just turn off edit pivot, and then we can rotate it based on our new pivot point that we just set. And then we're just going to quickly add um, an edge loop in there, and do the same thing, just very softly. Just add a bit of a bump, and the same thing here as well. Okay. That will give us <coughs> um, that more natural looking um, bend. But it's still not great, but again, we've got that set and it's in place. So, uh, what we are going to do very quickly is <coughs> um, we want to add more geometry in. Um, and, you know, I'm quite, I don't really want to add too much in there. Um, at this point, so what we're gonna do is first of all, um, we're gonna duplicate our model, okay? And um, I think before we do that, we might add some middle seams going down here. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, we're just gonna duplicate it. So, first of all, I'm gonna um, push Control D we'll bring this out within this model um, I'm then going to delete <coughs> <coughs> excuse me the rest of the body so I'm going to go to face just double select all of that or highlight red push delete so we just have our hand left go to object mode and just go modify and to center pivot we'll keep it around there and what I'm going to do is we're going to add another layer of smoothing to this. Um, so if we go to mesh, edit mesh, there we go, mesh, just mesh. Go to see smooth, click the little box to the side. And we want to do this by one division level. Exponentially on one division level. Okay, click apply. And yeah, you can see we've got that running down the middle now, which I was going to add in myself. Um, the thumb is looking a little bulky, so I think obviously I must have done that a little incorrectly there. Um, but it's still workable um, at this point, so I won't get too caught up on that at this stage and this level. Um, yeah, I think we can still work with that, and it's going to be that place down here. Should probably yeah, it should have ran the thumb should have ran straight down to this point, so I've extruded out from the wrong joint, <coughs> the wrong part of the joint. Um, which if we look up back on here so what I should have done is extrude from there but that's okay we can still work with this at this point it's not the end of the world um, it's just a case now of us getting um, adding in um, our other sections to the hand um, and making it feel much more like a um, palm um, but I'm just going to control Z, I just want to undo that because what I want to do is just very quickly, um, I'm just going to grab this vertex here and I'm just going to pull that up 
and I'm going to pull it in. Okay. Um, just because it will help create that sort of natural curve that we're looking for. And you know what? I'm going to just very quickly redo the thumb um, because it's going to bug me if I don't. And I'm going to take this line and extrude out of those two that I was originally going to do. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ring of faces very quickly. I'm going to delete those. Okay. I'm going to bring the thumb up slightly. Okay, to around here. I'm then going to um, delete that face. And I'm going to. <coughs> this vertex here. Pull that out. And I'm going to move these two. In here, and I'm going to bring those two down there. And what I'm going to do is very quickly, um, we're going to bridge these two together. So I'm going to just go to Edge, select that, select that edge, and select that edge. Go to our modi modeling toolkit and select bridge. Um, just going to take those divisions down to zero, or oh, yeah, zero, and I'm just going to do this underside now as well. I was just careful there, it's selecting all one. Yep, I'm going to do bridge again, take the visions down. Awesome, and that can be a fill hole. So go to mesh, fill hole, and I'm going to do the same thing again there mesh, fill hole, and then just with the multi cut tool, cut that back down the middle, push enter. And I'm just going to very quickly take this ring from around here, and I'm just going to pull that back, back, put it out, and then take it back in. Okay, there we go. Right now, I think that's it. I think that's what I was trying to achieve before. And if we just go back down, make it a little bit more natural, and if we go to um, our smooth options again, click apply. Um, oh, we've got our face selected, so it's in the face. Sorry, if we go to object mode. And then we go to apply. There we go. Now we've got that line coming down the center of the thumb. We've got that line coming down here. I'm much happier with that um, than what I was before. There is still extra geometry compared to this because we had that split down the middle. <coughs> but at this stage I'm happy with that okay so um, what we're going to do is we're going to now and as you can see we pull that vertex up we can see that natural curve coming under the wrist um, and uh, underneath the palm where those two muscles in the hand sort of meet up which has a crimple it excellent <coughs> so we're going to now use the sculpt tool okay toolkit sculpting tools um, <coughs> these work in a variety of ways and usually work with a lot of strength initially. Um, my advice is to um, work not just with the sculpt tool, I think the grab tool I think um, is probably a lot lighter for this job. So I'm going to select it, you can immediately see how big that brush is, that is massive. And we don't want it that big because as you can see we're starting to you know, move the whole hand. Um, so what we're going to do is hold down B, middle mouse button and drag, and it will resize. Okay, H however much we need it. As you can see now, that selection is much smaller, and probably going to be much more effective as a result. So um, with the with this tool, I'm just going to start to pull out. Um, the areas that, we w that I want to hang out or pull in the sections that I know go in. So again, I'm going to start pulling this part of the hand in just by clicking with the left mouse button and pushing in direction. Okay. So the, the key to this is to be gentle. Don't go crazy with it because you'll find that you'll lose control very quickly. Okay. Again, okay, just start to pull up on the this part of the the wrist. Okay. 
And we can start to really start to flesh out those shapes. And see, so we can bring the sides of the hand out, make it look a little bit more natural. As I said, if we want to change um, the strength for these as well, we can go to the tool settings and change the size or change the strength for 100 strength. We're going to tap down to 50. Okay, just halve that. Good, there we go. Got a nice little bit more control over what's happening there. Okay, I'm just going to start to to pull that out and pull um, this section under here down where we have that little bit of extra flesh. We can see. Let's just start to take that in, and we can start to see at distance, starting to get those shapes defined. Okay. And um, same thing on this side. That's not looking too great now. Yeah, okay. So again, Control Z undoes. It will undo it. In this case, we're just bringing this out a little bit. <coughs> and uh, on the top of the on the top of the hand, you don't want to bring out the knuckles, but that brush is rather big now. So if we just bring that up. Start to define those shapes. It's looking a little bit awkward on the rest of the hand, um, so we can start to um, just bring some of probably this end of the palm up. Let's start to bring that around. Maybe bring this, this up for a little bit. Just a little bit slightly at a time. Okay, let's start to pull that back. And again, it's just being very delicate with it and just working out, getting those shapes right, getting that muscle mass right, and um, working with it until you know you you feel happy with it and. Um, just keep checking it, but you could be here all day, <laughs> not all day, but you can get very picky and very fussy, which is good. But again, um, you know, this is a low state poly model um, at this point, so. Again, um, just to sort of really demonstrate range of what these tools do I'm just gonna start you know again that's pretty pretty intense with the strength so if we take that down to one we just start to roll around you can see how quickly you know you can lose control and this is kind of cool if you want to create some cool kind of you know alien texture on top of your fingers you want it to look really deformed like his crystal crystallized character <coughs> um, that can work um, Again, if you know, if you want to, so what else have we got? We've got so we're using grab again. We can use relax tool as well, which will take everything back to its original sort of space. If you feel that perhaps you've gone a little bit too over, doing a bit too much in some areas, and it will take it back down. Um, let's, let's look at spray. So again, similar sort of thing. So if we take that, that down to sort of one, you know, again, you can sort of. Start to get an idea of, you know, building those areas on. So this might actually be really useful for um, the, the sort of joints in our fingers. Um, <coughs> so again, it's probably a little bit too strong uh, for what we want want with this. Um, okay, we smear the strength again, sort of killing it. <laughs> Um, you can see how if we're working on a larger model, just say that. Um, okay, oh, there we go. If we're working on a larger scale model, um, in fact, we can take the strength down to 0.5. But again, that's just so strong. Um, but again, in fact, actually, it was probably nicer for the knuckles, I think. You know, it sort of smeared the geometry across as opposed to bringing it up. So again, just have a play about with the, with the um, tools. Again, I like the grab tool 
um, I feel for me it gives me the most control over what giving these little sort of bumps to the um, geometry that I know I want to create um, but again you can work them out for yourself and I'm just going to take so I think it's around here to get these shapes so again you know we just want to add them in slightly we don't want to Get them down. Okay. Um, but again, you know, I think the fingers could do have been a bit longer. <coughs> Certainly, um, I think probably some areas of the hands could be a little bit smaller. Um, so again, you know, we can start to um, bring those out. You know, using soft select. Um, so again, if we go to face. And we just select the, the tips of all the fingers. And go to tool settings, push W, tool settings, soft select. Um, just turn that down so you just hit the fingers. And if we just start to pull them out to make them that little bit bigger. And again, you can just start to bring them in, give them that natural curve that you're fingers will have so in fact what we're going to do is just turn off soft select while I do this so we're just going to select all of the top rings of the fingers and we've already taken them down slightly and we're just going to select the next part of these knuckles things around here and it back on. Just take it down slightly. Not quite free. Or at least rotate them. There we go. And just give that hand that bit more of that natural curve. There we go. There we go. Okay. And just turn soft select on again. Up again. Take it back on. Point one this time. <coughs> okay, probably need to little sorry. Um, so we just rotate that round. Bring that down slightly. So again, we have still got some issues there. So let's take that back. Not point two. Okay, yeah, still going to five. And we'll just rotate that again. There we go, it's a little bit better. Bring that down. And we've got much more curved, curved, curved hand. And now we can start to see where we need to take, bring, start bringing some bits up, some bits down. So again, we can go to our smooth. You can just see very subtly it's starting to do it. So if we turn the strength of that up to five, you start to see it very slowly. So I'm just left clicking and dragging. You can start to see all those start to fall back into space, into place. Okay, and then we can start to pull them out again, and reposition them. Okay. So actually, I think that's looking kind of cool for a low poly sort of model now. Um, we could relax the form a little bit as well. Um, at this point, <coughs> um, but I think for a base mesh hand, you can start to see the definitions in there. Um, we could probably work the tips of these fingers a little bit more. She just bring them in, so just bring some of these bigger ones in slightly, make them a little bit too big. So, again, um, <coughs> soft select is probably not going to be ideal for that. So, if we just go to um, tool settings, do we turn soft select off? And just scale those in a little bit. And this one as well. 
we go it's looking a little bit more respectable now in relation to the others and I think probably this one as well can just be done just a touch we don't want to go too much go just enough okay so um, I think that will do for today uh, we've got uh, what's going to happen eventually is we're going to pull that back over to here increase the poly count on this and attach the hand to it but we're going to keep low poly count for when we work on some of the other areas but <coughs> we've now created a sort of base model hand um, fingers are pretty you know, pretty much in size but I mean again it's up to you to be as adventurous with the hands as you want I've tried to keep this really simple and um, as uh, low poly as we can um, I've done it with fingers my design doesn't have fingers um, so don't worry too much about that I've done that in this case um, for to demonstrate for you how to do it with multiple fingers um, but again that's how we've gone from a low poly to a higher poly and um, you can start to see how those increases um, you know allows us to add more detail in but again these sculpt tools just be just be gentle with them don't go too crazy um, and uh, just experiment around and see what happens okay um, please start working on your own models um, it's really important that you've started to do that um, and next coming, as I say next coming weeks I'm going to start uploading more videos to the face and um, get, the, get the foot put in there and I think once we've got the, the, the head the foot um, done and the hand connected we, we're going to be good to start um, rigging the character um, but in the meantime you need to start working on your own okay so um, take care any questions don't hesitate to get in contact Okay?